So shadowing is one of the concept in Solidity Smart Contract. It's allowing you to inherit state variable. So unlike functions, state variables cannot be override by redeclaring in the child contract. So let's see what exactly it is. Here we're going to create a contract A and in that we're going to declare a state variable and we're going to assign a value to that. So name is going to be say contract A. So this is our state variable and now we're going to create a function. We'll call it get name and we want to simply get this state variable. So we'll call it name. That's a pretty simple contract. All it does it has a state variable, it has a function. So when you call this get name, it will return the state variable and which is a contract A. That's a pretty simple function. Now here I want to highlight a couple of things. So so in the earlier version of Sorority, it was not allowed to inherit the contract like this. This is not the way you have to go. So the exact way is to do like this. So let's come here. Here we're going to create another contract. We'll call it C. And this time we want to inherit contract A. And we're going to simply change the data, override that. So this is how we can do it. This is the correct way to override inherit state variable in the contract A. So what we can do, let's come here, we'll call it constructor and that we have to pass the name and we have to simply update that. And that's pretty much here. We're going to simply get the return is to contract C. And that's pretty much. That's the way you have to simply update the state variable so here we have the entire smart contract we have written for the getting the notion of the shadowing concept in Solity. You can see this is the contract, first contract we have, and this is the C contract. Now let's deploy this one. This is the two contract we have. Let's deploy the first one. And if we deploy that, here we get this. If we call this name, we'll get A. If we call this, we'll get the A. Okay. Now the point is, let's come here. And now we have to deploy the contract C. If we deploy the contract C here in this, we have this two function. So if we call this name, you can see we'll have an output as a C. But if you call this one, it will have an output as a C. So you can inherit the parent contract and you can simply update the state variables. So here what we have done here, we have declared the state variable in the parent contract, but we haven't declared here in the child contract, the C contract. But we are inheriting this A with the help of this constructor. We are updating that and we are getting an output of a C. So that's how the exactly works. So if you want to override the property of a state variable in a parent contract and use a different property in a child contract, that's the way to go. So that's how you can change the state variable. So hope this makes sense to all of you because this is going to play a huge role when you will work in the actual project, when you're going to communicate with a different contract, but had, want to have a different values. So that's the important things you have to keep in mind. If it sounds confusing, don't need to worry. Don't need to worry at all because we're going to build a project and on that we're going to explore each one of this. The reason why I'm explaining you this concept, shadowing concept, because you have to know this all things because when I will use this, I will use it straight away. So on that time, you guys not feel like that what I'm talking about. Okay. That's the only reason I'm covering all of these concepts which are there in Solidity. So hope this makes sense. If you are still in confusion, end out, do leave in the comment section. I'll try to help you in that. And with that, let's move to the next one.